Right now, as you can tell, I'm fishing in the mushroom biome. But if I move over just a bit, it turns into the jungle. And then, if I move over again, it turns into the snow biome. This is because I'm in a special fishing farm that has multiple biomes all mixed into one arena, making the normal, long, and tedious process of fishing in Terraria super easy. Which is why, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build the best fishing farm in Terraria. Before getting into how to build this setup, let me first explain everything it does, and some other small things you should know before going in. Firstly, everything I have on screen now is what you'll need to make the fishing farm, but the wooden platforms can be switched out for any type of platforms, and the pearl stone bricks can be anything other than biome-related blocks. Secondly, this fishing farm was originally made by the creator named Final, so while I did add my own additions, I'll still have their video linked in the description. Lastly, if you aren't interested in building everything for yourself, you can always skip to the end of the video, where I go over my custom map that has the fishing setup already built in it. With all that out of the way, let's begin. To start, you will first want to dig down into the ground until the background switches to the underground theme and make a 2x2 two two ledge using your extra block, about 4 blocks under from where the background changes. To be clear, your extra block can be anything outside of biome-related blocks, so stone should work fine. Next, you will want to dig down another 25 blocks under that platform and add a wooden platform where the 14th and 25th block was. Next, you will want to take your wooden platforms and place 48 of them going up the hole you originally dug, starting at the block ledge. And finally, you will want to dig out 105 blocks to the left and right of that original block ledge, and add wooden platforms going out 105 blocks both ways, starting on the extra block ledge we made, completing the first part of this farm. After you have the skeleton of the farm set up, you will then want to count 4 tiles out from the extra block ledge on both sides. And on the 5th block out, make another 2x1 extra block ledge, and then do that 2 more times, until you have 3 extra block ledges on both sides. While you measure however you'd like, I've always found that using lamps is the easiest to see and quickly read, so that might be helpful here for you. These ledges will be the area where we stand while fishing, but we'll touch back on those later. After you've made your three extra block ledges on both sides, you will then want to go to the far left and right ones and make a 45 block gap that ends with another 2x1 extra block ledge on both sides. At this point, you will again want to count out four tiles from the extra block ledges we just made, and again make another 2x ledge, but instead of only doing it three times on both sides, you will do it seven times on both sides. To make sure you did this correctly before getting too far, you should have four blank platforms at the end of both sides of your fishing farm, right after the ledges we just made. These 14 ledges will be where we actually make the biomes, which is what we'll be doing next. To start making the biomes, we will first want to head to the right side and go to the first ledge after that 45 block gap. On the first ledge, you will want to place six ebony stone blocks, four blocks above you, and then do the same for the ledge after that, but instead of ebon stone, use crimstone. After the two evil biomes, you will then want to place mud blocks on the next two ledges, going 30 blocks on top, 10 blocks under, with the total mud blocks that you'll use on both after replacing the ledge being 80, which will also be the measurements we use on the remaining pillars on the right side. For the fifth ledge, you will want to place snow blocks. For the sixth ledge, you will want to place sandstone. And finally, for the seventh, you will want to place pearl stone. Now that we have our right side of biome set up, now it's time to move over to the left side. For the left side of this build, we basically are gonna do the same thing we did for the right side, but reverse the order of the biomes and only have one biome made of six blocks, while the rest use the 80 total blocks, just like the right side. So, for the first ledge on the left side, you will want to place six pearl stone blocks that are four blocks off the ground. And then for the second ledge, you will want to make an 80 block pillar of sandstone. For the third ledge, you will want to make an 80 block pillar of snow. And for the fourth and fifth ledge, you will want to make two 80 block pillars of mud. For the sixth ledge, make an 80 block pillar of crimstone. And finally, for the seventh and final ledge, you will want to make an 80 block pillar of ebonstone. And to finish off the pillars, we are going to be planting mushroom and jungle seeds on the four mud pillars, with the right side having the first mud pillar being where you plant the mushroom seeds, and the second mud pillar on the right side being where you plant the jungle. Moving to the left side now, you will just want to do the opposite that you did on the right side, so the first mud pillar will be the jungle one, and the second one will be the mushroom one. Once you have all of your pillars built, you will then want to head to the crimstone pillar on the left side, and then make a 4 block gap above the right side of blocks on the pillar, with you placing a crimstone block as the 5th block. After that, you will want to build up 8 blocks using crimstone, and then go right 24 blocks, and finally fill in the remaining part of the 25 by 9 crimstone rectangle. 
Once you finish the crimstone rectangle, head under the ebonstone pillar and make a four block gap under the right side of your pillar, and then make another 25 by nine rectangle. But this time, use ebonstone. After you finish the ebonstone rectangle, you will then want to head to the right side pearlstone pillar and go under it, and make a four block gap under the right side of the pillar. And finally, make a 13 by four rectangle out of pearlstone. Now that we have almost all of our biomes made, we will move on to making the pool of water that we'll actually fish in. To do this, first count five blocks out from the last ledges on both sides, and build a line of blocks going down 14 blocks. After that, all you do is connect those lines of blocks, with the first block we placed under the first ever ledge, which should also be placed 14 blocks under. Once you have your floor built, just go back up to the ledges, and finally, fill that now empty hole up with water. Now that we have our pool built, we can finally move on to building the final part of this build that will finally make it fully functional. The last thing we need to build to make this fully functional is a large rectangle made of snow that is 138 blocks wide and 10 blocks tall. To measure this without counting, you can go to the second block under the first ledge we built, and then build up using snow until you hit the roof of the pool of water. Then, starting at that very top block of snow, start making a line of snow going towards the left until you get it under the first block after the six pearlstone blocks. And do the same on the right side, but stop on the first block after the six ebonstone. And finally, now all you have to do is start filling it in line by line until it's a full rectangle. At this point, our farm should be fully functional, with each of the remaining ledges becoming separate biomes, other than one, which will end up being the original biome you made the farm in, which in my case is the forest biome. Now, there are a few extra things that can be useful if you add them, but before going over those, one thing I highly recommend doing is making markers on the biomes, and then removing the original extra blocks and replacing them with platforms. This will allow us to make fishing directly below us possible, and while the markers will show what biome is where, it's important to know that fishing-wise, the game will count the biome shown in your background. And as for what to use for the markers, some good ideas can either be the seeds for each biome, and or placing the biome's respective pylons. Now that we got those small additions out of the way, let's get into the extra stuff that you can add onto this. While this farm has a good number of biomes, it will still be missing a few biomes at this stage. So, you will have two options, but you can only do one of them. The first option you can do is add a desert biome by placing sand on both sides of the pool of water, with it touching the snow up until the last line of snow blocks on each side, and replacing the platforms above the sand with sand. If you don't go with option one though, you can add a lava and honey pool to your build, which can be extremely useful when doing angler quests. To build these, just head out to the edge of the water pool, count four blocks to the left or right, make a two by one ledge, and then repeat that process one more time, ending it with a third four block gap. Then, starting at the first block after the last four block gap, start building down until you hit snow, and then build a floor going over the snow that connects to the pool of water. This is where you start dropping your honey or lava into, or if you wanna do both liquids, you can just make another one of those builds right beside it. And for the final little extra addition, it of course would be a great idea to build the angle or a house here, which you can do in between the pool of water and the biome pillars, or do it above the pool of water. For the final section in this video, I'm gonna explain my custom map that has the full fishing setup and everything you could need for fishing. To start, the fishing setup is just like the one I went over in this video, but to the left, you will find two floors with chests that will have all of the fishing related items in the game, including the new 1.4.4 items and a bonus pet. Besides the items though, you can use any pylons or the two specific teleporters to get to either the desert biome and the ocean biome as well. If you're interested in getting this map for yourself, you can find the downloads in the description, alongside a 1.4.3 and mobile version of the map, so you can also play it on the current T-Mod Loader version and on mobile devices. That wraps up my guide on making the best fishing farm in Terraria. If you made it this far into the video, be sure to let me know by commenting golden fish, and also let me know your fishing tricks in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future, and as always, make sure to have a wonderful day.